My name is Jody Lowen and I'm the director of the college program at San Quentin and the executive director of the Prison University Project. Okay, so we're going to get started. So today's lecture... The college program at San Quentin serves approximately 200 men. We have a college preparatory program in math and English and an associate of arts degree program in liberal arts. All the students in the program have to have a high school diploma or a GED, but most of those are not yet ready to do college level work. So the college preparatory program gets them ready. So we know a little bit about Booker T. Washington's youth. because you One of the things we see very often is students who haven't had the support at home that they needed to overcome early discouragements and obstacles. So you get a combination of trouble in school and then lack of support from the outside. Jody picks up where, say, the public education system dropped the ball, so to speak, Patton College is now trying to pick that ball back up and give them the opportunity to say whatever they missed in the high school level or even in the college level to pick it up here while they're incarcerated so they can go back out in their community better uh, informed, better educated and make contributions to their communities. Very early on when I started teaching in the program, a student said to me, being able to be in college while in prison is the difference between being alive and not being alive. So for him and for people like him, it really has to do with the quality of life where they are in the moment, just learning and being intellectually stimulated and growing as people. Um, for others, it has to do with preparing for life after they are released from prison. They want to be able to find meaningful, decent paying work and lead constructive and, and healthy lives when they get out. Thank you. So proud. From the time I first started teaching here, I knew it was something that would become and remain significant to me. My initial impressions were simply how highly motivated the students were and how seriously they took their coursework. I stay up to like three o'clock doing my math. I think for people in prison, having the opportunity to get an education is tremendously significant and they value it and they honor it and they honor their teachers and that comes across in the way they conduct themselves in the classroom. Does this have any effect, I mean, the regimented history of European men. Yeah, cultural clashes, cultural differences. Just All the teachers in the college program at San Quentin are volunteers. Most of them are graduate students or faculty from UC Berkeley, Sonoma State, San Francisco State, and other colleges and universities in the area. So these are examples of either... I think the people who want to teach in a program like this very often are not only extremely creative and compassionate people, but they are in this particular setting, um, you see they have an incredible passion for teaching. They love the material, they love, the, they love what they study, they love what they're experts in, and they want to share it. Right, so this is, these are very few and far between. When they and they also them. often are people who are especially aware of how limited access to higher education in particular is, and they see this as an opportunity to overcome that. The very first time I came in here, when I walked through the gates, the thought that went through my mind just as we were walking through that final really loud metal gate was, oh God, I'm going to die now. And I remember that very first evening walking into the classroom, and as soon as I met all the students, as soon as I saw them, and people were all excited because it's the first night of the semester, and coming up and shaking our hands, and that anxiety completely went away. How you doing? I think the best way you can measure Jody's impact is if you would watch her throughout the day going across the yard and how many guys run up to her, hey, Jody, Jody. How are you? What Jody brings is a personal touch. Uh, the volunteers they bring in, the people that work with the guys on an individual basis, you can never uh, substitute that. People like Jody uh, who have the compassion to know that there are souls in here. There are human beings. These are not people that you can just cast into the Department of Corrections and Rehabilitation and expect to get them back better without putting forth the effort and the commitment. And I think that's the, the, the epitome of what she represents, a person who can encourage guys to believe in themselves. She doesn't say, I'm gonna teach you what you need to know, I'm gonna teach you how to learn. And once you learn how to learn, then you'll take that next step to learn. And I think that's the kind of impact she has. For me, one of the most exciting things is watching a student who in the beginning um, storms out of the classroom because he's so frustrated and self-conscious when he makes a mistake and then over time becomes more confident and more relaxed in the classroom and, and sticks with it and completes a class. And even if it's a developmental English or math class, I mean, those are extraordinary students to, to witness. Can you believe that you had such a hard time in the beginning and you totally stuck with it and now you're doing that? I had a hard time with it. That was difficult. That took me over a week to just get I'm to that so point. Happy for you. What's thrilling is to watch people recognize their own potential. You know, they're like family members to us. I mean, it's, it's, it's tremendously exciting to see them, but very often it's, it's, it's less the uh, material accomplishment of the individual than, they're, than, they're, than seeing that they're going to be okay emotionally. 
Well, my hope for the students is that they will feel like they can do whatever it is that they want to do and that they can realize whatever the potential is that they've discovered that they have. The long-term plan is, you know, is a, is a societal transformation where we take a good hard look at the use of incarceration or the overuse of incarceration in the society. My hope is that we will equip a large enough number of people through participation in this program to speak out, to be advocates, to, to transform the society so that we will ultimately have a major impact.